Thomas Olf. Uh, that's it. No, I'm community manager uh, from the Frankfurt office in Germany. Um, here for Brilliant Gone. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's great. I love it a lot. I'm not missing out on this. It's the second time I've been here. Second time, yeah. yeah. I what think do you think of this venue compared to the last one? Uh, I think the venue is great. I love it a lot. Um, there's a lot of people as well, and the panels are great. Um, especially like the last one, like with uh, JRDF. Talk and with you, of course. <laughs> like talking, talking us through the whole process of like how um, those models are made. It's just like mind blowing. Right? Yeah, yeah. And they turned out really well. Like I mean, the great cat, model. Um, I was lucky enough to get one of those for Christmas. So oh, thank yeah. you very much. That's okay. Um, <laughs> Which color did you get? Um, what color? What colors did the you drive, change? Driver. I don't know. I did. Yellow. I did about so yellow. Yellow. One. Okay. Yeah. That's one of the harder ones. To <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, yeah, because yellow is like a light color, so all the dark stuff underneath shines through. So to try and get like a smoother finish on it. Okay. It's, um, yeah, it's harder to paint the yellow. Right. So. Yeah, I already s also saw your like the time lapse video that you did of the uh, uh, band, yeah, you have to have band with Hunter. It was really amazing. So thank you. Yeah. It's um, trying to paint and film it at the same time is really difficult. It's taken me loads of different iterations of having camera angles at different places to try yeah. and get it. So the Vandal is probably the first one that actually successfully thought, well, that's not a bad camera angle to use. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a good process to see, though. And like, like they're talking on the panel, like you said, sometimes you see the models, you don't realize how much kind of goes in behind the scenes of it. Yeah. I suppose it's kind of the same with making the game as well. You know, you see the end result, but you don't see all the, the little processes that go in between and things. So, yeah. Yeah. How long did it actually take to paint the whole thing? Because the timeless video was like, what, half uh, an hour or uh, something like this? Yeah, the timeless was 15 minutes, and that was like triple, quadruple sped down. I think it was something like... Um, the Hunter was actually one of my quicker ones that I painted, and I think it was okay. something like 14 to 20 hours, something wow. like that. Um, the Javelin took me between 40 to 60 hours, I think. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it turned out really well. I mean, like from from far, you think it's black, but then you you know look at all the details and the colors. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's a it was a because the concept images we get are kind of so varied. Like mm -hmm. literally, as I said on the panel, it's like we'd have one where it's metallic and a completely brand new shiny. Like, I've not seen a single Vandal ship that's like metallic, so shiny, brand yeah. new. And then I'd have a, a, the next picture, and it'd be an in-game sort of like shot of it, and it's just. It's black almost, you can't see any reflections or anything, just a little bit of metallic shining through. So yeah, it's like, okay, so how do I replicate something that's completely different on two different pictures? So it's, um, and it's like uh, when like painting the javelin, it's like, well, it's like 50 shades of gray. It's like, so this, you look at the panels and all the lines, there's so many different grays. Why do you think, do you think of a movie right now? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, well, ships, and, your reference ships and porn are very close together. <laughs> <laughs> That's the term ship porn, right? What's your favourite ship? Anyway? Favourite ship? Well, now with the new flight model, I actually want to do. I want to go into flying the blade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be my new favourite ship. Uh, I was waiting for for the new flight model to drop, and now I'm just going to concentrate on this one, and then I'm going to be the most mean, badass pilot in the blade. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a while though. There's there's a lot of training involved. You get much time pilot. Um, well, I mean, during work hours, not so much, but like during lunch breaks and like after after work, of course, yeah. I mean, I always have to play at work because my PC at home is not the best, actually. <laughs> I have to upgrade. I have to upgrade. Can you go to like the store code and see how you do that? Uh, no, unfortunately, it's not the case. I can't do that. <laughs> no, but like I already have a plan on what I want to get and stuff like that. Setting some money aside and I just have to convince the missus that it's a good idea to uh, to upgrade. Are you planning on, uh, so within the game, to earn your way up through the ships, or are you just going to get the one that you want and then fly that? No, I think like I actually want to do like one full experience going in with an Aurora and then like you know going up. Yeah. Uh, because you know you just want to get the feeling of you know accomplishment when you get to actually get a new ship and stuff like that. I think um, a lot of people are like, they're like most when they start out, they always think I'm just going to stick to this one ship, and then it just. Another ship, another yeah, ship, another yeah. ship, and then you end up this like sort of end game fleet. But you get the best experience, I would think, from starting in the game, like in Aurora. Yeah. And then you just sort of progress from there. You know? Yes. Yeah. I mean, like, of course, like with Def Account, you get all the ships, right? Yeah. Um, but it kind of like spoils it for you as well, right? Because like. You, you get to the so you get to the dashboard and you're like, okay, which ship I'm gonna I'm gonna fly now? But like having the accomplishment of like you know working your way up from like the most basic starter ship to something completely different, more expensive. You kind of don't get that ownership feeling. 
Like if you if you realize it and then actually earn credits to yeah. get to the ship, you feel like you're short. And then when you lose it, you're crying. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, 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 definitely. So what's uh, this whole Frankfurt uh, concierge Can you tell us anything, especially like particularly about ages? Well, I can't tell you. Uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna do um, for the event, right? Okay. Because that's gonna be an, um, a surprise for like all the attendees. Um, so it's gonna be on the 24th, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. which is like the Saturday of the Gamescom week. Um, we're also gonna be going to Gamescom as like a community team to do like. Yeah, they are on the website. Yeah, yeah. We are, we already announced those I think last week or the week before. Uh, so there's going to be bar citizens on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we're also going to be on the Gamescom floor to meet people and maybe do some, you know, uh, some kind of like egg hunt as we did last year. Yeah, handing stuff out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah, then it's going to be the concierge event on Saturday. And yeah, tickets are sold out already. They went quickly. They went quickly. Oh, and I was like, should I on the top table start trying to put it in the basket? Ryan, just speech. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> right? I'm buying a ticket. Oh, I didn't get one. Oh. I didn't even try. I just thought, don't even try. Let's just let other people enjoy oh, that's it. That's too bad. And, uh, it's too bad. Unless there's any random tickets coming. I mean, with the, two, <laughs> with the three ways, you kind of try to cater like, to different people, right? Like so the guys that have to work in the morning or the guys that have to work yeah, night shifts or yeah, whatever. But um, yeah, it's, unfortunately, like it's always a like in a five war. Well, it's good that it's old now. You want it to sell out? If it, if yeah, definitely. Happy, I'm sure there's know. space for like a couple more though. <laughs> like just squeezing somewhere. Just in the right. door. No, I mean, we had a look at the, at the venue and the, there's only so many people you can fit in there. Otherwise, it's going to get crammed and like, you know, you don't want to do that. That would be problems. Yeah. But yeah, I can't really, can't really talk about what's going on there. Can you tell us what you're working on at the moment? What you're dealing with? Uh, at the moment, well, 3.5 out the door, which, yeah. which is good. Um, yeah. Um, so right now we're kind of preparing a couple of events that will be coming uh, pretty soonish. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had the yeah. Easter uh, screenshot uh, event. On your yes. Um, I don't know. Do you do those kind of events? Actually? I never do. Why and not? I feel like I don't know. Because there's so many people posting really good screenshots That's already, yeah. That's and he seems like he's just going to win it every time. It's like you look at the professional and you think, oh, forget it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we're trying to put in like different events where it's not only like, you know, good screenshots, but also like maybe for the guys that do amazing videos or we also have some stuff in mind where you don't need those kind of skills. Like, I mean, we had, we had a, like a story if you, contest. If you have a crashing one, then I'm perfect for that. So if you've got one for the best crash or idea. something, oh, I can do that That's one. a good idea, yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're working on a, you know, a couple of couple of things in the background that um, unfortunately you can't no. tell anything uh, about. What yeah. about CitizenCon? You can tell us about that one now, right? Um, yeah, CitizenCon is going to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed! Yes! <laughs> Um, yeah, we are, like, we're going to be announcing the dates and the locations soonish. Um, so we know that people want to book accommodation, fl flights, travel, whatever. Uh, maybe take the day off and save some money. You know, uh, we know about that. So we're going to announce it very soon. No, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you tried yesterday already. It didn't work. Although this person is going to be an expensive one, so I don't think I can afford to get him. Where are we going to go? Yeah. Uh, loft. Loft. Uh, Ninety one. Oh. Yeah. Is it a fancy place? Yeah. All right. Too fancy for like to I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> haven't looked at the website yet. Loft. 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 But no, well, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us and thank you for all the work that you've Yeah, no worries. Done. Thank you for having me. In Frankfurt, you're always there, you're always a smiley face. And you're always helping me out with which are a lot like needed. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, well, you know. Trying though. I like to push it. Yeah, as you should, as you should. <laughs> if it didn't work, yeah, I just... As you should. I just rage quit. It's on my account. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. See you again.